Hi, my name is PK Gulati. I'm the founder of The Assembly. If you're here, you're probably watching an Assembly workshop. We do these workshops every week and these are prepared by the Assembly team in Dubai. These workshops cover ideas from data sciences, hardware design, automation, robotics, drones, and all the other exponential technologies that can, you can think about. The idea is for us to learn more than what curriculum teaches us. And we are trying to bring people to start working with their own hands with these technologies which have the capacity of changing the world. So welcome to this workshop and learn more about new wonders what you can build. Hello everyone, a very good morning and welcome back to another session. Today's session is a very interesting one where we use Python to turn any PDF into an audiobook. Now there have been times when you might have been wanting to buy an audiobook but did not because it was way too expensive. Well fear not, today we'll be showing you how you can use Python to turn almost any PDF into an audiobook for free. So let's get started. So before we begin, let's talk a little bit about the assembly. The assembly is basically a smart lab based out of M5 since December 2014. And over the course of around seven years, we have done over 300 free workshops. These workshops are divided into three categories, hack, code, and data science workshops. Now the hack workshops are the workshops that deal with hardware like Arduino, Raspberry Pi, and IoT workshops. All these are hack workshops. Code workshops, on the other hand, are solely software based like the workshop that we are doing today and they involve the use of various APIs and gaming are related to gaming, uh, etc. Finally, we have the data science category which is quite self-explanatory and it deals with advanced topics relating to machine learning, AI, big data, etc. Our target audience are students, entrepreneurs and professionals and we focus on smart technology and its practical applications. You can join our forum which is members.theassembly.ae and also don't forget to tag us on our social media on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at the handle of Make Smart Things and you can follow us on YouTube on our channel The Assembly. So to begin with, what is an audiobook? An audiobook is a recording of a book or other work being read out loud. So instead of the conventional way of reading the book, the book is actually read out as uh, it would be by a person reading a book to you. And the reading of a complete text is described as unabridged while readings of the shorter version are an abridgment. And these spoken audio had been available in schools and public libraries and to a lesser extent in music shops since the 1930s. And today we'll be converting any normal PDF into an audiobook that you can listen to. So what we'll be using today, we'll be using a Python library called PyTTSX3, which is a speech to text, a text to speech conversion library in Python. And there are other alternatives to do that in Python as well. But the advantage of using this particular library is that it works offline and it is compatible with both Python 2 and Python 3. So that is a big advantage of using uh, this library. The second library that we'll be using is called PyPDF2. And it is a pure Python library that is uh, built as a PDF toolkit and has a lot of functionalities like extracting text from the PDF, extract, splitting documents page by page, cropping pages, etc. It has a lot of functionalities. And by being in pure Python, it should be able, it should uh, run on any Python platform without any dependencies on external libraries. And it also means that it can work entirely with string IO rather than file in, uh, file stream, which allows the PDF manipulation in memory. It is, so it is, a, uh, it is also a very useful tool for websites that manage or manipulate PDFs. So without further ado, let's get started. So first off, we open our Visual Studio Code and create a new file. In my case, I have called it audiobook.py, but you can name it anything. And uh, what we're essentially trying to do is we're using and trying to use the two libraries, the PyPDF2 and PyTTSX3 to create an audiobook. So we'll use PyPDF2 to split the PDF uh, page by page and then we will read the text on these each of these pages. And then the text from these pages will be sent to PyTTSX3 library which will in turn read out the text to the user. 
and we'll also allow the user like we can also save the output of the audiobook so that he can have an mp4 mp3 file that he can listen to anytime so yeah let's get started so first we'll need to import the libraries and uh, before you import them you need to install them so you need to go to the terminal and install these libraries by typing pip install pi pdf2 and pip install pi ttsx3 now once you have done that we can go ahead and import them so pi ttsx3 also we are on to import pi pdf2 make sure that you capitalize the p in the beginning and the pdf2 okay so now that we have imported both the libraries what we need to do is we need to have an uh, p have a pdf file with us now in our case we have a simple one page pdf file just for the demo purpose and we have named it demo.pdf now we are going to open up that pdf so we are just naming it as uh, book equals and we are opening it and obviously we will pass in the name of the file now in our case the name of the file is demo.pdf and since we are reading so we will see rb that we are reading bytes next we need to initialize the pi pdf reader so in order to do that we need to create a, a variable to store it and we will just call it pdf reader equals pi pdf to dot pdf file reader and then we'll pass in the name of uh, or our book so we'll just say book here so that's how simple it is to create a file reader object and now we can just extract the number of pages from the file so this uh, library will allow us like it has a method that automatically gives us the number of pages in that particular pdf so we can use that uh, later in our workshop so what we'll do is we'll say uh, num pages equal whatever we named it so pdf reader dot num pages and it's this simple so this will give us the number of pages in our pdf and we can try and print the number of pages and see if it actually worked so let's just run our code quickly and uh, yeah so as you can see it ran the code and it printed one so because in our case like our, our PDF has only one pages but it will display the number of pages that your PDF currently has so so far it's working perfectly now we also need to initialize our uh, text-to-speech library so in order to do that what we can do is we can say engine equals pi ttsx3 dot in it so this is how we initialize our text-to-speech engine and uh, we're pretty much done with this so what we can do now is we can okay just to give a sort of how this is how this works let me type in engine dot say and you can what this function allows us to do is whatever text you give it it will speak that out for you so it will convert that text into speech and say it out aloud so this way you can check if it's working properly or something is wrong All right so we can give pass in any text that we want for now we'll just say hello world okay and we need to spell that right and uh, we can say engine dot run and wait this will run the command for us and finally we can finish it off by saying engine dot stop so this is so if it, everything goes well what this should do is it should print the number of pages and then say hello world so let's run the code and see if it's working hello world right so as you heard it said hello world now this means that if we can get the hello world out uh, the, the output then we can also get the output from our PDF so that is what we'll be doing next so we can comment this out or actually we can just let it be there or we can okay, let us just remove this part because we don't want it to say hello world anymore 
uh, what we can do is we can or before we even go to the next part let me just show you how you can change so the good thing is that this library allows you to customize some of its features so you can change the uh, speed of how fast the person is speaking and you can also change the voice of the person so let's see how those certain things can be done and before hello we can just give it a bigger string hello world mm. it is me again okay and uh, yeah this will allow us to try out our the different settings that we make so we can change the rate at which the person is speaking right now so the way we do it is we say rate we create a variable to store the rate in so we can then call our engine and get property now this method allows us to get the property and in our case we are looking for a property which is called rate now this will get the rate and if you want to see the rate you can print it you can say print rate and if you want to reset the uh, rate you can say again use the same way engine dot instead of get property this time you will just use set property and then set the rate you need to pass in the rate as well as the new value so you want to change the rate value and what is the new value uh, we will just give it 200 okay 200 so let's see how this goes okay so let us run the code hello world it is me again so you notice that it's much faster this time and as compared to previously so we can decrease the speed as well by going back to 100 and saving our code and trying it again so let's see hello world it is me again. Now this was definitely much slower, but uh, I mean you can play around with this and see what works for you and what not. So maybe 150 will be a good choice. So we can uh, try that out. Hello world, it is me again. Yeah, this sounds good. So. This is how you can change it. Now you can play around with this value and find whatever suits your needs. We can also change the volume. Now, obviously, you can change the volume from your system settings, but uh, this also allows us a way to change the volume. So you can, again, it is very much similar to how we change the rate. It is we create a variable to store the volume, and then we call in the function like engine dot get property and this time we want the volume property again we can print it and uh, and now to reset the volume now one thing to note that the minimum volume level is zero and the maximum volume level is one so the value of volume should be so it should be between zero and one and again we can set it to uh, set the new value by saying engine dot set property dot and pass in the two parameters the first one will be what value do we want to change which in our case is volume and the second one is the new value that we want to assign it to so we want the volume to always be at its max uh, so we'll just keep it as one if you want to change it go ahead and change it but I don't think anyone would want to decrease the volume from here rather than the system settings but yeah that's just a way that you can change the volume from here now the final thing the final property which is also a very interesting one is the fact that you can have different voices so for currently it has two different voices so let's see how we can change the voice of the person who is speaking so do that uh, it is very much similar we can say voices equal engine dot get property this time we are looking for a property called voices and we can print voices to, if we want however it won't be anything useful to us because it will be just an encrypted string and finally if we want to change we can say engine dot set property 
and then pass in our two parameters. Now, in this case, the first parameter is obviously the voice, and the second parameter. Notice that when we get got the property, it, we called it voices, and when we are setting it, it's just voice rather than voices. So voices is the list that contains the both the voices, and voice is the actual variable that uh, that controls which voice is being played. So the second variable is what voice do we want? So we want the from the voices we want the first one, and then you can say dot id. So the ID of the first voice is what we want to be played. So the first voice, this basically means that play the first, play the, speak as the first voice. Now we can see what the two voices sound like. So we can just run the code and see. Hello world, it is me again. So this is basically the same voice that we were hearing before. Now we can again change this to one and uh, see what happens now and run the code. Hello world, it is me again. So you notice that this one, the second one, the one is has a much deeper voice and uh, those two voices are different and you can use whichever voice you prefer. So in our case, we'll just go with the second one. And uh, yeah, we can close this. And we can create a method or a for loop basically we want a for loop to run for the number of pages and in that for every page extract the text read it out and then stop so we'll create a for loop so it's a for num in range so we want it to run for how many ever pages there are in a pdf so for example our current pdf has one page it will run only once but if your pdf has like a thousand or hundred thousand pages it will keep on running for that and reading reading the pages out loud to you so our ranges will range will start from zero and it will the ending will be the number of pages so it will run only one time in our case because our pdf has only one page but if you change your pdf it will run for however many ever pages the pdf has now the, you can extract the page by saying page equals pdf reader dot get page get page and you can pass in the number of page that you want so this is how simple it is to extract the text from a page so it, you just call your pdf reader and then dot get page and you pass in the num page number and it gets the page uh, text all the text from that page yeah. what we will do next is oh sorry i forgot the next step this is just the page that we have gotten from the pdf we did not actually extract the text yet so to extract the text we can call in uh, another method which is page dot extract text extract text so now we can <coughs> print out our print out and see what the text that is was extracted so this should get us the text that was extracted from each page now in our case we have only one page so it will get all the text from that one page and print it out now if you have lots of page you can you will get all the diff all the text extracted from all those pages so let's run it and see so yeah this is our pdf content from here so welcome to small pdf this is just a random pdf that i downloaded and all these till here is what is there in our pdf so yeah that works pretty well now what we can do next is we can uh, or what we actually want to do is we want to we want to turn it into an audiobook so the way we can do that is very simple you can just say engine dot say this is very similar to how we said hello world and instead of saying passing in the text uh, ourselves this time we can just pass in our data and uh, we can say engine dot run and wait and finally engine dot stop and this should read the data on the page and read it out loud so let's uh, run our program and see what happens welcome to small 
Digital document sale in one place. Access files anytime, anywhere. Enhance documents in one click. Collaborate with others. With the new small PDF experience, you can. All right, so it was a long text. So I just stopped it in between, but you get the idea. It reads the text that is there in your audiobook. So it kind of it's con converting itself into an audiobook. So the text that was previously in a PDF form is now being read out to you. Now the last thing that we want to do is we want to be able to save this uh, the audio output so that we can read it later. Uh, we can hear it later, pause and play it our own preferences according to our own preferences so the way we do that is very simple we just want to uh, it's just a couple of statements that we want to write in and uh, yes here we can go and then we can say engine dot save uh, yes engine dot save to file so save underscore to file now this method will what it does is it will act automatically save the file to your desktop or wherever your current working directory is so engine okay it's a comma engine dot save to file so, and the next thing that we want to do is uh, we need to pass in what is the data that needs to be saved so or we can actually move it into our loop over here save to file save data to file and uh, we can call it data pass data and then we can name it uh, test.mp3 and we can try it out Welcome to Small Pdf. Digital Document Sale. Alright, so let's head to our folder and see. Right, so as you can see, over here it has a file called test.mp3, which is what we just created from here. Uh, one thing that we need to do is we need to uh, com comment out this line if you want to save the output because this line or the file uh, writing to the file will only happen once it has completely set all the content of the uh, the PDF which is a lengthy procedure so we can just comment that line out and then get the mp3 file and uh, so here we have our mp3 file let's check it out and see what if it did welcome to it. small pdf. digital document sale in one place access files anytime anywhere enhance documents in one click all right, so as you heard, it com it clearly saved the PDF version as a, as an MP3 file, and this is how you can use Python to turn your normal dumb PDFs into audiobooks. So I hope you enjoyed it, and that's it for today. All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel if you are interested in our content, and this is me, Amar, signing off. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.